Hello viewers, after the understanding the terminology of contract, let us understand the essential requirements of the contract. So in this session, we will discuss about essential requirements of valid contracts. So there are the few essential requirements for the valid contracts. So it means if the owner is offering for the particular offer to the contractor or any other stakeholders. In that case, the contractor or the any other stakeholders will accept this offer. It doesn't mean that there may be done contract. So there are the some valid essential requirements for the valid contracts. So let us understand the essential requirements of the valid contracts. So first one is the contract shall be made by the parties competent to the contract. This is the first essential requirement. Second one is the contract shall be made by free consent of the parties. Third one is there shall be definite proposal and its acceptance. And the fourth one is the subject matter of the agreement must be legal and definite. And last one is there must be lawful consideration. So these are the main essential requirements for the valid contracts. Now let us understand one by one. So first one is the contract shall be made by the parties competent to the contract. So in this condition there are the few considerations we have to take on for fulfilling this criteria. First one is he or she must be major. Major in the sense according to the age. The age greater than 18 years it means he or she is major. If he or she is minor, it means his or her age is less than 18 years of the age. So in that case, that shall not be done valid contract. So first one is he or she must be major according to law. And if not, he can break the agreement at any time. So if the minor age of the any person will fill the court for the particular tender, in that case the owner can break his contract with the contractors if he or she is minor or we can say he or she the age of less than 18 years. And the second one is he must have sound mind. It means the both the parties should have sound mind so they can understand the offers and the owner can offer the particular terms and condition for the any type of the structure. It means offer from the client should have sound mind so he can make the proper terms and condition for the any type of the structure and the acceptance by the contractor they should have also sound mind so they can understand the terms and conditions have been prepared by the owner or client so both the parties have sound mind and third one is he must not be disqualified from the contracting by law for example i worked with Rajkot Municipal Corporation before five years and in that case I could not complete my task and in that case I had been disqualified 
from the Rajkot Municipal Corporation. So I cannot fill the any other municipal corporation for the binding of the any type of the contract. So after the disqualifying of the Rajkot Municipal Corporation, I cannot fill the project for the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation. So if you are disqualified from the any area, so you cannot fill for the other of the same category of the bodies. So you should take this important note. You must not be disqualified from the contracting by the any law, by the any type of the corporation, by the any type of the department, by the any type of the other. So we should consider this important point. And the last one is the part is competent to the contract. It should not be he or she should not be minor. It means he or she should be greater than 18 and he or she should not be idiot and the lunatics means related to the mental static lunatics related to the stability of mental state and the drunken person are considered as incompetent so the parties should not be minor. Second thing, he or she should not be idiot. So they cannot understand the what type of the work should be completed within the particular time period with the particular terms and conditions and they should not lunatic and the person who are taking or offering of the contract they should not be drunken person because the, after the drinking they cannot understand and then cannot offer the proper of the any type of the contract. So there shall not be the made of the any type of the contract. So the, both the parties should be competent to the contract. So the essential requirement of the first criteria shall be fulfilled by this importance points. Now let us discuss the second essential requirements which is the contract shall be made by free consent of the parties. It means we can understand with this slide the first of all we have to understand that what is the free consent of the parties. So you can see on your screen when two parties agree on the same time, on the same thing, in the same sense that it is said consent. So the first party is offering to the particular task and the opposite party is accepting for the particular task. So the, both the parties agreed on the same time, same thing, same sense that it said to be consent. So the both the parties should be free consent on the contract. So let us discuss in detail. First one is not under any influence. For example, in many times we can see in the government contract, the contractor is influenced by the mutual person and they are filling for the particular court. We are observing this type of the influence by the mutual person which is connected to the government body and they are filling the low rate of the contract and after that he or she cannot be completed their task with this duration with the terms and conditions. So there will be happen the problem regarded to the contract. So the parties should not be influenced by the other person. The second one is not caused by fraud. So contract should not be caused by any type of the fraud. So if the any parties which is doing any type of the contract with the fraud, so there will be illegal work in the contract. And the third one is not caused by the mistake. So there is a no 
option for the mistake for example you are contractor and i am owner and offering for the particular type of the structure and i have mentioned in my structure i require the self compacting concrete and when you are filling a particular type of the cord of the red in that case you could not understand the proper contract and in that case by mistake you are filling the red with the normal compacting concrete but you have to do the self compacting concrete which is the costlier than the normal compacting concrete in that case the mistake is not allowed in the contract and the fourth one is not caused by the misinterpretation between the parties when the offer done by the client the contractor is accepting of the contract and if i mention in the detail of the any type of the material which has been mentioned in the tender and the contractor could not understand and he is misinterpretation of the data and they are filling the low rate for the particular type of the requirements so in that case misinterpretation has been made and in that case there may be problem to the both the parties so it should be free from the misinterpretation of the both parties and the last one is not caused by the threatening to the commit and any act by of ipc indian penal act and next one is there shall be definite proposal and its acceptance it means contract cannot be indefinite for example you are taking the contract for the particular length of the work and there is a particular uh, time duration in that case you have to complete your work for 4 year for 5 year for 10 years so any type of the contract for example uh, we are taking the private contract work so in that get the low rise and the high rise building in the certain duration you have to complete your task so there is a offering and acceptance both are definite time period without definite time it is not possible to prepare a, any type of the contract and the contract matter of the agreement must be legal and definite for example i want to sell a taj mahal or the lal qila to you so between i and you there is not possible to prepare of any type of the contract because this is the illegal activity we cannot sell or buy of the any type of the important structure of our country so in that case there should be legal activity so contracts shall be enforced by the law and the last one is there must be lawful consideration so let us understand in detail so here i have taken an example the person a wants to sell his home at 55 lakhs and person b wants to purchase or we can say the accept the offer prepared by the person a so in that case so person b the accept the offer prepared by the person a and but he required 7 days payment for the purchasing from the person a and in that duration so person c wants to buy the properties offered by the person a so in that case the person c is offering token amount with the 10 lakhs and accepting and confirming the purchasing of the properties by the person a so there is a complete task had been made because the person c had paid for the properties of the person a and after the 7 days the person b is going to pay to purchase the properties from the person a but he already sold to the person c so in that case the person b cannot take the legal action against the person a because there is only oral communication there is no any written agreement 
or the any written communication between person A and person B. So he cannot take the any legal action against the person A. What happened in this case? There is lack of lawful consideration by person B. He has no any proof regarding for the confirmation with the person A. Now let us discuss in the other way. If the person B is comes first and in that case he is paying to the person A for the buying the property from the person A. So remember this important thing in the contract the lawful consideration is required. So this is the one of the essential requirements for the any type of the contract. So this is the lawful consideration of contract. So before the preparing of the any type of the contract or we can say to join the any stakeholders to the contract there should require the basic essential requirements which we have already discussed in this session. Thank you.